Hello, everyone. Welcome to ResinNet. So today, what we're going to do is I am going to use products. Literally, everything I have here, except for this that I've got um, somewhere else, and for this paintbrush. But besides these two things, and probably a baby wipe, everything I'm going to use is going to be stuff I got from Timu. Okay. People ask me all the time how I like their products. Honestly, love them. I order from them all the time. And recently they asked, um, well, they invited me to become an influencer for their company. And I got to tell you, I have no idea what that means exactly. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure that out. But in the meantime, I, I continue to order their products because I just love them. So one of the things I'm going to do is just this little shell here, okay? And this little astronaut bunny. I've got chameleon mica powders here. I have of UV resin, and this was pretty inexpensive. I got a pack of three of these, and I'll have to look up the price again, but I know it was a lot less than what I pay normally. And um, then I've got this little, it's like almost like a little coaster insert or um, almost might fit into like a car coaster maybe. Um, and then I've got these little packs of bubbles. They're just like little bubble stickers. And I thought that I might use those in these. But anyway, I'm just excited to try out um, to see how their UV resin and how their mica powders compared to the ones that I normally buy, okay? So let's get started here. I did read about their UV resin. It is um, fast curing, it says low odor, and I believe that that's true because I took off the lid and, and um, put on the little squeeze bottle top. They package their products really well. I've never had a problem with them, something coming leaking or broken or anything, literally ever. And um, it cures within one to two minutes. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I think the first thing I want to do is maybe just try this little seashell. Okay, let's just give that a go. And what I want to do is I decided I'm going to use this. This, this mica powder here says that it goes from purplish red purplish red to blue to green. Okay, so let's kind of see how that goes. Right now it looks kind of golden, but I don't know what to expect once it's on. But um, it comes sealed, so your jars don't leak. And the mica powder's really inexpensive, I gotta tell you. Let me see here. This one almost looks like it has like a, maybe a glittery tone to it. Oh my gosh, that is really, actually really pretty. I don't know what it's gonna look like on, but look at this. You can see the light, but it's, let me see if that might be too light, but um, there we go. Look at how pretty that is. Really, really pretty. Okay, so let's take this, take my paintbrush, and I'm not, and just so you know, I'm not overly experienced with UV resin. Okay, I've only used it a couple times. Whoops. And my glove stuck to the my glove stuck to the tape. You know another thing I just noticed. Look how full the little jar comes. It's actually quite full. I mean, maybe three quarters, if not a little bit more full. And I just want everybody to know that I Right now, except just for ordering from Tamu, I have no, there, there's no benefit to me for, um, for talking about this. Okay, I'm going to give my honest opinion about it. I'm not advertising for them in any way, shape, or form right now. Okay, so actually, and even this little blue mat here um, covers from about here all the way over to here, about this wide. Um, this also came from Tamu, and these are super cheap. You can actually get these. They're called refrigerator mats. Okay. 
So they come in like a pack of four and yeah, pretty nice. Okay, sorry about that. I have been rambling. So let's get started with this and see what's going to happen. Oh my gosh. So pretty coming going on here. Wow. That is really pretty. You know, I really love mica powders anyway. Almost doesn't even matter what color they are. I feel like I just really love them. Anxious to see if it cures like it says it's going to. And it's supposed to be non-yellowing. It's such a beautiful day here in Arizona today. The sun is out. I've got my window open and it's just, you know, like kind of a light breeze. But okay, so here's a close up look with that painted on. I don't know if you can really tell yet. This way. Hey. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do some of the resin. Like I said, I'm not real savvy with the UV resin, so <laughs> I know that you probably kind of have to go in, in thinner. You pour it thinner, I think. Is that correct? Somebody yell into the screen and tell me yes or no. It doesn't matter. I don't know. So let's go ahead and put it in there. We'll start with one minute and see what happens. See if we need to add a little more time. I think I might start working on my little painting, the inside of this, and see what I can do with that. Let me open this real quick. Wow, you guys, okay, here's this one. See, color is really pretty. This one is supposed to go from purplish blue, red to orange, okay? And we'll have to kind of see how that goes. Let's check this out. See how it did. Wow, that is, I put it in for one minute. It is completely cured, okay? So, gosh, that's kind of cool. So now, what do I do? So I don't really know how I'm supposed to do this. If I put another layer of, if I try to put, like say a layer of this now on top of that UV resin, will that still cure? Will that work? Gosh, I don't know. Let's try it. See if we can get like some different colors to come through. Go ahead and do another round of this. I did this one just a tad bit thicker. So I'm going to put this one in for one minute and see how that does. Okay, so I'm going to try this little bunny here. Start with this color. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the inside with mica powders. And try to leave the um, I'm gonna try to leave his little face mask clear. All right, let's see how this did. Yeah, that's that's all the way cured. Okay, that did pretty well. So how about we just take it out? See how it did. Gosh, it's really pretty.
there is. It's actually really pretty. Can you see the different colors through it? And that's without putting any kind of a dark or black background on it. And here's the other side. It's really pretty. So, gosh, this worked. I definitely see golds and greens and like a purpley red in this. Can you guys see those colors even without a dark background? But here you can kind of see the different colors. It's really, actually, really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to just set that one down there and let it cool off. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this. I know this is a really deep mold and I'm probably not going to do this whole thing in UV resin. That would probably take up the whole thing. Um, but I'm going to do enough of it for us to um, see what the difference would be. So I'm going to just do the head for right now because it's kind of really down here in a little hole. Wipe off his inner mask here. So this is just kind of what we've done on this one. And you can see already this color changing on this mica powder is really pretty as well. So let's go ahead and give this a try. We'll start with the face mask. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go finish painting his little body here. Okay. So I think that's about all I'm going to do for this part of this little guy. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off this inside of this face mask again real quick. And the inside of this little heart. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to expect with this. This little mold is so cute. I've never used these before, but I think it's going to be fun. And I see that... Um, these little astronaut things are super popular right now. I think we'll go about maybe about 30 seconds on this. Still filling in his head and in the body now and then down into the boots. Okay, it's not quite time to do the ears yet. But I'm, I've changed it to just a 30 second, 30 seconds at a time here. Okay, so my little guy is getting all kind of filled up here, but I see I have a bubble here in the middle. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> and maybe it just needs to finish curing. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a big UV resin. Oh, no, I don't want you to go up into the top part. Maybe I better turn it back on here for maybe 10 seconds and see if I can get that to go away. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. What did I do? What did I do wrong? But um, whatever it is, I'm sure it's not the resin's fault. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is, actually, let's see, maybe I was thinking about putting a circle here in the mask.
but I don't know if it's going to curl my sticker. So let's find out. Just do 10 seconds, see what happens. Okay, not enough to hold it there. Okay, so you know what I might could do too is maybe I'll just make him an astronaut with no bunny ears. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and demold this little bunny because I'm not sure that I did this UV resin right. And I don't know if it's going to leak out. I got bubbles. But let's see. Kind of hot when it comes out of here. Okay. Yeah, I feel like his little body. I don't know that I got his feet all the way cured here. Oh, I didn't. He had holes. He's got holes in his feet. Okay. Oh my gosh, though. Look at this. He turned out, really. I mean, except for my mistakes of not really know what I'm doing with UV resin. But um, what do you think? How cute is this? This little mold is actually really pretty cute, too. It came with this little rabbit, and then there's another one that's a bear. And I thought, well, I just thought it would be fun to give it a try. So here he is. And, and um, I will definitely do another one of these with using my, um, using my regular resin and not UV resin, because that does definitely takes up a lot of resin, right? And... So, and please let me know. I don't even know if I'm supposed to do this deep of a thing with UV resin. I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to layer it like I did or not. But um, but he's cute. And what do you think about the, the mica powders? And I know it's kind of hard to tell without a dark background, but you can definitely see the color shifting in it, even without black. Look at this. Goes from this, this color here. And it shifts almost to that light golden color. Yeah. So, yeah. And I'll find out. I mean, I'll go back and I'll look at exactly at the price of the mica powders. I know they were really reasonable. And, um, yeah. So, okay. So, there is that. Got that one done and that one done. And clean him up really quick. Um, my plan was to do a bit of a background. These iridescent holographic papers also came from Tamu. And my plan originally was to put one of these colors on the back of him, which um, I think I'm still going to do. But I was getting kind of to the point where I needed to stop with the UV resin, I think. I will probably figure out something with that. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and do this with the bubbles. Okay, I think that's all we're going to do for bubbles. I'm going to just cover this a bit and then stick it under there. And I think we're about done. Okay, 
Okay, let's see how this is doing. I wasn't sure if this was going to work, if this was going to be like considered a solid piece, because it said you have to only do, um, you have to only do UV resin in a clear mold. So evidently you can still put stuff in there. So that I put that in there for 30 seconds and it feels like it's, well, you know, I'm going to put it in there for another 30 seconds. All right, let's go ahead and take it out of here. We can cut off this extra paper that's sticking out. Uh oh, you know what, you guys? I see resin, I see wet resin in there. Okay, so what does that mean? Does that mean I poured too thick, or does that mean I didn't let it put it under here long enough? Put it under here for another 30 seconds. Okay, well, it definitely feels more cured now than it did when I put it in. So I'm pretty sure this is all cured now. I had to take it out of this and turn it upside down in the mold because my rim wasn't completely cured yet. And I'm assuming that that was my something that I just did not cure it long enough. So when it says one to two minutes and I'm only curing it for 10 seconds or up to 30 seconds, that's probably not quite right. But... You can see this is really kind of cute. It's got the little bubbles in there. And then I probably didn't have to add the holographic background, but this did just for kind of for fun. Just, you know, it's kind of trying out more of the product. But um, yeah, what do you think? So the resin worked. I feel like um, it cures really well. I, I think it turned out pretty good. So yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, so here's this. Kind of a fun thing. This might go down into the center of a of a round coaster because these little um, pieces here fit just right down into the bottom of those round the round coasters. Okay, and here is our little seashell. Turned out really pretty. I want this back here. And so, so we're checking out the mica powders. Um, turned out really nice. You know, I'm I'm dying to see what this would all look like with black behind it. But um, but in the meantime, and oh my gosh, this little guy, super cute, really really cute. It, this this would be a really cute um, a little thing to hang on your tote bag or keychain or something. And I'm really excited to try more of these too and, and um, you know, try all my different colors. But I like that we left the face mask clear. I think that's cute. And yeah, I mean, his colors aren't as vibrant as they could be. You know, I didn't go very heavy in painting them, but you can see the color shift. And that was our main experiment today was to see if they work. And, um, you know, they really seem to work pretty well. So, yeah, here it is. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for joining me. Sorry, this was not a very professional looking job. And um, that's not the fault of the product. That's the fault of the artist, in this case, especially. So, and anyway, I hope you had fun with it anyway. And I'm sure you're, most of you who work with UV resin, we're probably like yelling into the screen of telling me what I was doing wrong. Um, so if you want to go ahead and put that in the comments and let me know so I do better next time, I would appreciate it. But this was super fun. Thanks, everyone. All the Tamu products, they all did great. I could, I could use some work, but they all did great. And I thank you all for joining me. 
And I will see you all next time. Thank you.